Hello everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to set up online store on Shopify specifically for closing online shop. So I already have my Shopify store and it's actually a mix between clothing as well as jewelry and we're going to take a look at it a little bit. So the name of my store is Eyes of the Sun. I got the logo right here. I got a banner that says big sales and then I also got my product we're going to take a look on how to manage to create something like this so the first thing you're going to want to take a look is how to customize your online shop so over here if you go to the top of your screen you're going to be able to see the navigations for your web page in overall you got your home page you got your product collections collections list pages blog if you have some i don't have a blog so that one's going to be empty but basically if you would like to edit let's say some page or a sections of your web page you will want to go to the top over here on the left side of your screen you're going to see the alteration or the customizations menu for a certain page you're currently opening so for example i'm on my home page right now and you can see that my home page consists of header i have announcement bar which is the one that says flash sale 50 percent off every friday over here and i can edit my announcement bar if i want i can also add some more if i want and it's going to be like some sort of carousel and to change the wording, I just have to click on it and change it, let's say, or like, no, something like that. So that when it's, so that when people carousel it around, it's going to have different wordings or I can just delete it if I don't feel like I need it. Now I have the header section, which is just these symbols currently. I only put a symbol for my header. And this one comes in the form of templates. So if you would like to add something like this, this is basically just a pictures that I add from Canva. All I have to do is just I go to the template sections and I can click add sections and then I can choose what kind of section would I want. There is featured collections, featured product, collection list, rich tags, image, etc so for this specific image right here what i add was an image banner this is what i clicked and it's going to look something like this so you can alter it by simply clicking on the image banner and then you'll be able to add your image you'll be able to setting your image layer opacity the sizes the alignment etc as for the image, like I told you, I created mine on Canva, but you can also use their free images. So you can see there is some selections that you can use. Maybe you just want to set your layout for now. You haven't really got any pictures to put, but you would like to see how the overall will look like. You can always choose from the free image that Shopify offers for you. For example, let's use this one and see how it looks like. And it's going to change and you notice that there is this hovering text over here you can delete it if you want to simply by going back to the main menu and then click on this trash bins right here then you'll be able to get a clean image banner layout i'm just going to delete that for now and for the footer, I have email sign up right here. You're going to use whatever footer you want. Maybe you want this to be a contact us footer, etc. You can always simply customize it on this menu right here. And you can also go to the next page if you want. Let's say I have this product page. And it's going to show me what product that I have. This is one of the products that I currently have and I can change how my announce bar looks like. If I go to another page, I can add more header, I can add 
<clears throat> another announcement bar if I want. I can also change the template of my product information if I want by simply clicking on it and playing around with how everything looks like. All right, so that's the overall of my Shopify online store for now. Don't forget to always save after you create a changes. Now, the other things that I would like to pay attention to when building the online store is obviously the product. So this is going to be depends on what kind of online store you're creating. Mine is more of like a reseller kind of online store. It's a clothing and jewelry online store, but I don't have my own brand. If you do have your own brand, obviously you're going to want to create your online store with the theme and all of the templates that will represent your brand. So the product that I'm selling aren't my own brand. I actually sell them. I actually get them mostly from Amazon and I do that by connecting my Shopify to this app called Spreader. So this is the app that I have. So what I did is that I opened Spreader and then I opened Amazon on my other page and then let's say I'm trying to find for um, blouse. Then I take a look at what I want to sell. For example, let's go with this one. And then I would copy on the URL and put it over here Then add product. All right, so my product is finished adding. And what I like to do is, if you notice, most of my products comes with the, not most, all of them. <laughs> now, if you notice, all of my product actually comes with the template name from Amazon. And, you know, Amazon's name sometimes is a little bit too long and it's not practical. So what I like to do is I'm going to go to my product right here and I will change my product name so that it's going to be more easy in the eyes. I usually come up with my own name. So instead of having this long name, let's say I just want to name this Amelia Mini Dress. Then I'm going to click on save. I also would like to see if they have better pictures. But it's fine for now, so I'm just going to go ahead with that one. And now my title is looking better. Alright, so I got all of my products right here. And I'm going to go to my collection section. So you can see I only have two collections for now. We can always add more by simply clicking on create collection. And then you're going to start and add up your collection. You can add your title. And then you can add your description about what your collection is. You can add images for your collections to represent the collections better. You can also set whether your collection is manual or automated. And then once you've got everything done, let's say I want to have the autumn collection. Then after you click on save, oops, sorry. It's going to create your collection and now you have this autumn collections right here and to assign your product to your collection you can simply click on it and then there's going to be a product selections sections over here go ahead and click on browse and I'm going to add the no newly added and I'm going to add the newly added products to my selection and I'm going to add the newly added product to my collection. I think that's about it. I'm done. And now I get all of the product for my entire collection. To delete your collection, you can just simply tick on it and then click on this triple dot over here and you're going to be able to click on delete. So I actually use a theme from Shopify, but you can actually also just create your own theme by designing something on Canva and then download it 
and upload it to your Shopify. But if you would like to take a look at the themes, you can just go to your online store sections, go to themes, and then if you scroll all the way down, you're going to be able to find the theme that you can use. So Shopify actually have a lot of wonderful themes, but most of them are paid, but they also have a free one that looks just as good. So for example, we have like this taste right here. This one is free. So that's this craft. This is actually the one that I'm using. And if you would like to browse only for the free one, you can always take on this free box right here and they're going to show you their free templates or their free theme. And if you would like to add your theme, all you have to do is just click on the theme and then try the theme. And it's going to automatically apply it to your online shop. Now let's take a look at the navigation. So if you notice on my web page, I have several navigation. I got the footer menu, main menu, and sidebar menu. I can actually add more if I want to. I can give it a title and add items to it. So let's try and customize my main menu. So currently, the only things that I have are just these collections and about us. Let's say that I want to add more on my main menu. I would like it to have my product. Let's see if I can. Then I want it to be for my products. And then all product. Go ahead and click on add. And now I have a new menu. And let's take a look at how it looks like on my store. I'm going to go back here, view store. And then now you can see I have my our products option. Before it's only collections and about us. And I can go to our product and it's going to show me the products that I have. So here it is. All of the products is listed. And that is it. I hope this tutorial is helpful for you. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.